to the basement research station here. So we have something super, super interesting. Not the dog, though, um, although she is pretty interesting. Uh, what I have here is a tiny little piece of imitation crab meat that I am going to try and feed to our pet Bobbit Worm. Um, we got him in there yesterday. He actually came out of uh, one of our buddy's uh, main display tanks and um, put him in here yesterday and I, he hasn't eaten obviously in a couple of days so hopefully he'll be nice and hungry and we can lure him out with the promise of some food. Yeah, I don't know why we put this thing in our tank because it's pretty horrifying. Oh, there he is. Oh, oh, he's moving. Oh, oh, oh no. Nope, don't like the, him. These are a nightmare inducing predator. Um, I've never seen one in 25 plus years in the hobby. I've never seen one alive in person. I've only seen photos. The fact that you even have your hand in the tank right now scares me. They are a segmented worm. Um, apparently some of them have a venomous bite. This one is about the size and length of a pencil, maybe eight or nine inches long. Um, he can move pretty quickly when he wants to. I'm sorry, but I don't know what kind of pencils you've been seeing because no pencil I've ever seen is that long. And obviously he's kind of shy, actually. This may be a kind of a boring video for a feeding video, but well, especially if the crab meat floats away. Just kind of leave that tucked under there and maybe help. Oh, there he is. I think you might have eaten a few of our snails, because when you shook the rock, a few shells came out. That could be. They're extremely voracious predators. Yeah, yeah, nope. He's more scared than anything. Well, the damsels will be able to get some good food here. Um, we'll try this again once he settles in for a few days and uh, see if we can get him to come out and about a little bit more. These are sand bed dwellers, so being in the rock is not um, as comfortable and normal for them. So um, I'm actually planning on putting a sand bed in this tank at some point, so we might speed up that process just so he has a little bit happier place to live. But If he was in my tank, he'd be very happy, yeah. but I'm... You want to put him in your tank? No! <laughs> no, thank you. But man, they just they completely disappear into the rock. I can't even see him in there now. Yeah, he's gone. Well, the damsel's loving that uh, crab meat, though. <laughs> So, yeah, so we'll try this again um, uh, over the next few days and see if we can get him eating and try a couple of different types of food and see what he does best with. <laughs>